It took 114 years for Major League Baseball to bring its first ever regular season game to Rickwood Field, a place that has held history for its lifetime, a place that's had its fair share of fairy tales. Now, everyone in baseball has a connection to this cathedral of the sport. Everyone has a story, but few stories are as poignant as those that come from those who played on this field. And that includes Meridianville's Eugene Scruggs. Nowhere on Thursday's itinerary did it say play video games, but moments after arriving to their locker rooms at State Farm Stadium for the first time today, a trio of Tide picked up the sticks and played some Super Smash Bros. Simon, how's it going out there in Arlington? Welcome to Arlington, Texas. Welcome to Globe Life Field and welcome to the 94th Major League Baseball All-Star Game. It's one of the rare nights in sports where fun is the only focus. Bitter rivals turn into teammates for one night only. We get once in a lifetime matchups and every single play has highlight potential. By Hardee's. Welcome into Fox 54 Sports. SEC Media Days brings together some of the biggest names in the game all together in one place. Coaches and players trying to set the narrative for the rest of the offseason as the anticipation builds towards kickoff. But even amidst coaching changes or new members joining the conference, few garner attention like the Alabama Crimson Tide. Hey, Ken. Auburn enters year two of the Hugh Freeze era with upped urgency with reformed conferences across the country, a new guy leading the way over across the state at your rival. There's a real window here for Auburn to compete. We start right here in Huntsville where the city invited the Spanish speaking community to its second ever Hispanic Latino community town hall. It was a chance for folks to engage in meaningful dialogue with city leaders in English and Spanish. Simon, what happened and what do you know about the incident right now? Yeah, Sedona, about a couple hours ago, uh, the Huntsville Police Department responded to a car accident here on the east side of Parkway Place Mall's parking lot. As you can see behind me, I'm going to step out of the picture just briefly. The Belk Department store, you might see a, a couple you know, police cars still in the scene. They, this is where they responded to a car accident. We're now joined by our Simon Williams, who spent the evening at this city council meeting. Simon, what's the latest? Last week's announcement by City Council President Jacob Ladner that there would be a third party review into the Decatur Police Department. It was seen as a major positive for all involved. It's a real step towards accountability and reform for the Decatur Police Department, whose former officer, Mac Marquette, shot and killed Steve Perkins last September. To begin tonight with perspective on an issue that families might have recently encountered. May 1st, the date traditionally set for college decisions has come and gone, and still there are some students who haven't made their commitments official. An increasingly relevant reason has been why there's complications with the FAFSA. Yeah, Kanisha, this is definitely a historic moment, but uh, while we've had an incumbent president drop out of the race before, it's not the first instance this time around. It's never happened this close to a general election, as yesterday marked 107 days out from election day. Now, no situation exists in a vacuum, so there's certainly going to be some similarities, but to say history repeats it, he's got more. It's well documented now why Alabama is such a dangerous team. It's because of how much and how well they score from three. They're one of the highest scoring offenses in the country in the regular season and one of the most efficient units on that side of the ball. And talking with the team this week ahead of their game against UConn on Saturday, they put their game plan pretty plainly. We play our way and we can win. But at Fox 54 Sports, I'm Simon Williams. In just two days, Braden Booth is off to college, the top baseball prospect in the state of Alabama. We'll go play at Mississippi State, and he brings with him serious accolades to Starkville. Among the latest is the Gatorade Alabama Baseball Player of the Year Award. But Booth will be the first to tell you that he doesn't get to where he is now as a player or a person without Palmer Park in Madison. And today